Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. On the front of an engine, down on the end of the crankshaft at the very bottom of the engine is a pulley. Now, those pulleys may be single purpose and simply drive the belt for the accessories and so on, or they may be dual purpose and not only drive the belt, but dampen vibrations from the engine. Now, to give us some pointers, Tom Taylor, who is an online parts expert. Tom, welcome to Goss's Garage. Thanks, Pat. Okay, here we have some uh, harmonic balancers or dampeners, as you may call them. And this one in particular, it literally came apart. Right, on, on certain engines, sometimes these last forever, last life of the engine, and certain engines they might only last 50,000 miles or less than 10 years. This is a good example of, because it's got such a massive piece of rubber, you can see the rubber literally tears apart into two sections. And the, the other style of dampener is like this, where you still have that, that strip of rubber, but it's much thinner. It's hard to see on a black on black part. Now one thing about this, if you look at the way this is constructed, you have the uh, center hub, which is driven by the crankshaft, and that exerts force on this rubber, which in turn exerts force on the part that drives the belt. So there's a lot of tension on that, that rubber. Right, right, you have all, every time you, you turn on off the air conditioner, the, the belt gives a jerk and yeah, yeah, it goes right to the rubber strip. Now, I've noticed on some of the newer cars, what we're seeing is this configuration, where the crankshaft drives the uh, pulley directly. Uh, this web comes right out here to the outside, and then the balancing portion of it, which again is mounted in rubber, is inside, and it's just like a wheel weight on a tire. Right, it's just hanging there, essentially. Okay, now you find quite a few of these that fail. You sell a lot of them. Right. Yeah, like I said, certain, certain uh, makes and models in years, they go through them fairly quickly. They, the aftermarket ones are often better than the originals. Um, when they fail, it can be a horrific sound coming from the engine. All that vibration you're dampening from the crankshaft doesn't get dampened anymore. So it might sound like a 1980s diesel that, that is, is falling apart, even though it's a gasoline engine. Okay, now what we see in the repair shop is oil leaks, and oil gets on this, and rubber and oil are not compatible. So this swells up and everything comes apart and you get a horrific noise out of it. Right. So I guess one of the things as a driver, if you get this uh, obnoxious noise under the hood and somebody condemns the engine, make sure that they have checked the balancer. Right, it's not that expensive compared to, especially compared to a new engine. Right. And when you're working on the car, if, if for some other reason, if you need to pull this off, most of them re require a special tool, to, so you pull it off evenly and you don't apply uh, torque one way or the other and damage it. Yeah, because uh, the whole pry bar business trying to get one off is either going to damage this or it's going to damage the front cover behind it. Right. Okay, thank you, Tom. And if you have a question or comment, drop me a line right here at MotorWeek.